Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video I'm going to teach you how to make your own barcodes using your Rolo thermal printer. Now you can either have the wireless Rolo or the USB Rolo. It doesn't really matter as long as you have one of those and then also these stickers. I got mine from Amazon but Rolo does sell stickers like these. For example I have a blue pack as well as a pink pack that I use for my packaging stickers. I'm choosing just to do white because they're very clean, simple, and will look good on my clothing tags. I posted a video of me printing these out and then putting them on my clothing tags and everyone freaked and wanted to know how to do this and it was so hard for me to figure out so I figured why not make a video about it so then hopefully I'm helping you guys. Now I plan on using these for my craft show just to make it a little bit easier but you can use these in a storefront as well. They work no matter what if it's a craft fair in store whatever it may be. So first off, you're gonna need to have Shopify. I use Shopify for my store, for my website and all that, so make sure you have Shopify first. And what you'll do is that you'll go to the Shopify app store and you are going to search barcode and then it's retail barcode labels, this purple one right here. And you're just gonna click on it and download the app. I already have the app installed, so we're all good to go there. After you have that set up, it will say like get started and you'll just get started. You'll create a template or you can use the other templates that they have. So I'll show you how to create a template. So you'll just hit create label template and then I chose to have the product name as well as the price but no SKU number. I don't really need that but I would also like to add a variant option one which is the sizing. From there, if I don't have a Dymo, but you can use your Dymo thermal printer. I personally have a Rolo and didn't really feel like buying another printer. So I use the Zebra setting. It's the two by one, which that's what the stickers are. You'll click that and then you'll just press create template up here. But I already have this template created, so I don't need to do that. You like create barcodes for everything. So when you do this, you want to do create barcodes. You can create barcodes for specific products or you can create barcodes for all products. Then you're just going to go to print labels. Let's do the Ash It's Okay T. Even though I only have one left in stock here, we're still going to do it. So you can just either enter in the amount that you want to print off or if you click this right here, it says it's set number of labels to match items in stock. And then you can go up to print one label. For me, it's only one. Now, for me, mine is a little bit different. Some people can print just from this, but for me personally, I can't. I'm not sure why, but I just can't. So then I have to click cancel and I have to click the download button and then just download it to my desktop. And that way I can go ahead and open it up. It's right here. And then I'll go to print and it's on my Rolo setting. I'm gonna make sure that it's on the two by one and then I collect print. This is my wireless Rolo. I'm gonna be printing off this. And I also have my white labels hooked up to it already, ready to go. But you can also use the USB Rolo as well, if you have that. And then it's printed. So after you have that, you'll have the Shopify POS system. And so you'll just go up here click that little barcode thing right here up top. Click that and then this will be stuck to your clothing tag of your apparel item or your product in general. Then you'll go up to the camera, have that scan and then it goes straight to this and then you'll press add to cart. You can also do multiple products at once. So just go up, click print labels and then you'll click like all your products that you wanna print labels for. So I have three selected, but you can do a bunch of them at the same time. And then you will go ahead, make sure it's on the correct setting, two by one. And we're just gonna press set number of labels to match all, everything. For example, I have four Smile Today hats, but I only need one to so switch that to one. And then you press print labels. After you print labels again, I have to download mine. So I'm gonna download them and then they're just gonna show up and then you can print. After you printed off all your labels, you can go ahead and add your tags. So these I got from Vistaprint. I absolutely love them. I just used the business card and I left them blank on the back. I got this tagging gun from Amazon. I'll have it linked down below in the description as well. So I just poke a hole through in the seam here 
And then this is a size small gold choose joy. So then I'm just gonna peel off this and stick it on the back. It looks so cute. And this is just gonna make my life so much easier at markets and I'm literally obsessed. To use the Shopify app, you don't have to have a Rolo. I just choose to because it doesn't use any ink and you already have the Rolo that you paid for and it's just way quicker, I feel like. Also, I tried to do it on the Avery standard sheets, like the return labels, but I couldn't get them lined up. So that's another perk about the Rolo is that everything is in the individual square. I mainly decided to make this video because when I was looking for ways on how to do the barcodes, there was nothing about using your Rolo thermal printer and it was really frustrating. It was all Dymo. And I figured why not make the Rolo one to help you guys because I was in the same boat. I was very confused. I called people. I begged people to help me. And one person did know kind of how to do it. Her name was Megan. She helped me finish setting up the app and everything. But for some reason, we both couldn't figure out why my Rolo wasn't printing from the first pop-up print site. But I figured out that I had to download and then print. I hope this video was really helpful for you guys. And if it was, please give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already. I will, of course, be having more videos to help you guys become the best small business owner that you can. I hope this helps you guys with craft fairs as well as maybe your boutiques or your storefronts that you may be opening up. Because I know this is going to help me a lot. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. <laughs>